Hi, hope you're a great day. You're watching JG Entertainment, and for this video, I'm going over Secret Invasion first reactions, which we just got, and trust me, they're very good. So I'm going over five different first reactions, telling you what to expect from the show, the good and the bad, as well as some info, like the runtime, like some things that we might expect from it, just all that info. So yeah, let's get into it. But first of all, the format of this video and how it's going to work is that I'm going to go to the side, like you see me right here, and I'm going to put the first reaction right here, and you can pause the video and read it yourself, or I'm going to read it out loud, and then kind of explain what I'm trying to say. Alright, let's get into it. So the first first reaction review that I'm going to be going over in this video is going to be from BSL or Big Screen Leaks who said, Secret Invasion is a back to basics greedy sprite thriller that breathes of fresh air from Marvel Studios. The action sequences are fantastic and Simon O. Jackson, Kanks Kingsley Benton are dead, and Olivia Coleman are standouts. A solid start for what could be one of Marvel's best shows. That's really awesome. I think it's really positive. First of all, you can tell that they're saying that it's back to the basics for Marvel, a spy thriller. I think I'm expecting something like Falcon Winter Soldier, which I think would be awesome. It's just a fresh air for Marvel Studios. Of course, we've been doing a lot of multiverse stuff and whatnot. And once the galaxy, even though it was a multiverse, it was still very much space and everything. So it looks like it's bringing it back to basics and bread of fresh air. I like that they mentioned the action sequences, saying that they're fantastic, because I'm really excited to see action, good action sequences from Marvel, so they better be good. And they're saying that all oh, the cast does an incredible job, saying that this could be one of Marvel's best shows. Very exciting. Then, the second first session comes from Brandon Davis, who said, Secret Invasion's first two episodes are the grounded thriller that I was hoping for. Samuel Jackson gets to add depth and personality to Nick Fury. New cast members, especially Olivia Coleman, are great. He has constant tension and nicely character driven stakes. I really enjoyed it. So that's really good saying, first of all, just for context, the critics that I'm going over right now have seen the first two episodes. He mentions that. So if you saw the first session said that it could be the start of a great amazing show, it's because only saw the first two episodes. So keep that in mind. Once again, they mentioned being a grounded thriller, really awesome, seeing that it was what they hoped for. They said that Samuel L. Jackson gets to add personality to Nick Fury, which I'm really excited to see. And saying that once again, the cast does a great job. And that there's some nice driven stakes. That's awesome. Now, Ben Davis didn't stop there. He also said, Secret Invasion is definitely Marvel's most mature title for Disney Plus yet. The language and the writing knows the audience has grown up and flashes of violence keep it feeling realistic while emphasizing the stakes. The Square Invasion feels grounded and tense. I'm digging it. So it's very positive saying that it's definitely the most mature for a Disney Plus Marvel show yet. I don't know if it's like the most mature, like I don't know if Andrew comes to that and I don't think that the Netflix shows that they currently are in Disney Plus count for that. But uh, that's really awesome. I think that's really great that it's mature. It doesn't mention that the language and the writing kind of knows this, so they kind of use some certain language and the writing definitely goes there. And also they say some flashes of violence kind of go towards a more adult level, so keep that in mind if you have kids or something. And they said that it keeps the show very realistic, which is great. They also said the score animation feels very grounded, very realistic. And personally, I think that, that sounds awesome, as he does, because he says, I'm digging it. So that's great. All right, let's move to the third first reaction. And this one comes from Ryan, who said, Secret Invasion is the real deal. Well directed, shot, choreographed, and written. Sets up the main conflict and villain early on. Winter Soldier, Civil War vibes. In terms of quality, it feels like Marvel's Andor, but six episodes, so it moves faster and some massive what the F moments throughout. That's super awesome. That's to me super super awesome. I'm saying first of all, it's the real deal. They mentioned all these really great things that every I think good show has to have. So that's awesome. They said that they set up the conflict very early on, which is great because I'm really hitting this in plus shows that they kind of have the conflict and the main villain kind of pop up like in the last two episodes. That really bothers me. So it's great that it's set up early on. And they mentioned that it gives them civil war and winter soldier vibes, which is great. So with the best, in my personal opinion, um, MCU movies. That's great. That's just, it has some WTF moments throughout. Also awesome. Now, the thing that gets me really excited about this first reaction is that it's Marvel's Andor. Because Andor to me is the best Disney Plus show for anything, to be honest, to date. I think it's really good. May maybe Loki gets a little competition, but I still think Andor is better. So that's super awesome. Now, Rihanna explains a statement throughout her next video where she said, Why is that Secret Invasion like Marvel's Andor? It's because it feels like more thought and time were put into this show than others. There are very few weaknesses, and the actual filmmaking is top class. And most importantly, it feels more human than anything else MCU recently. So that's really awesome. I think that sounds great. It very much kind of feels like what Andor was as well for Star Wars. So to me, this is really positive. I loved Andor and I can't wait to see Secret Invasion if it really is going to be more versus Andor. Because that would be incredible. So yeah, really exciting. Alright, moving on to the fourth first question. And that comes from Tessa Smith who said, As a massive fan of the comic book run, Secret Invasion is everything I hoped it would be. The first two episodes did not disappoint. Shocking twist, 
edge of your seat action and set up for an all-out war. Samuel Jackson shines as at the forefront. So many theories. Hashtag secret invasion. So this is very positive and it disgusts me to say that because I'm a super fan of the comic book version and I was really concerned that it wouldn't live up because of course there's very little Avengers characters in here and that's like kind of a huge part of the story. But I'm very happy to say that this person said that's a massive fan of the comic book run. They really love secret invasion and they gave them anything that they hoped for. So that to me is super exciting. So if you're uh, like a fan of the comic book story, I think that's a really good sign. They said the first episodes were full of shock and twist, it showed you seed action, and that it really has a what an all out war, which is super exciting exciting to me and they really say that Samuel Jackson shines in the front so to me that's amazing now Tessa Smith didn't stop there she also said love the fact that we literally have no idea where scrolls can be hiding or who they're masquerading as that's why I love the comic book run added cast is phenomenal Emilia Clark and Olivia Coleman are slain episodes are an hour and end with a jaw-dropping reviews so that's amazing to me that's really awesome I'm saying that First of all, explain kind of how, how the scores are supposed to be. You don't know where they're hiding. You don't know who they are ha pretending to be. And that's kind of the whole point of them. And I love that they're portraying that in this show. They also said that uh, it has an amazing cast, which is great. Really excited to see another Clark in this show, to be honest. And they said that the episodes are an hour long, which is great. I'm so tired of like 30 minute episodes. Give me an hour long episodes. I'm happy for that. And they said that they have some jaw dropping reviews at the end of every episode, at least for the first two episodes. To me, that's exactly what Secret Innovation should be as a show. That sounds awesome to me. Alright, the last section review that I have for you, and that comes from Adam, who says, Secret Invasion feels like a freshly revamped blast into the past. Familiar characters in a dangerously unfamiliar settings, with paranoia infused deep at the show's core. Emilia Clark is outwardly, superb writing, crazy twist, and deeply personal stakes. A masterpiece. That sounds super awesome to me, saying that it basically kind of has like this MCU past vibe to it, which is great. They said, of course, you have these familiar characters like Samuel Jackson, but with these unfamiliar settings, of course, paranoia infused all over them because of the scrolls. So, Emilia Clark is doing a great job, so that's great. They said the writing is great, they said the twists are crazy, and that there's some really personal stakes, which I'm really excited. They literally call this a masterpiece. So, what else could you expect? I think the show's gonna be awesome. So yeah, those are the five different first session reviews that I got for you for Secret Invasion. Tell me what you thought about them down in the comments. So this gets you more excited and where exactly are you most excited to see about this show? I'm very, very curious. Do you have any theories for like some cameos? I think it's going to be some crazy cameos. And what are the twists you think? Very curious. As well as leave a like and this video. It'll be very helpful. So please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for a lot more content. Including a lot of content when this show comes out in a week from now. That's how much to subscribe for that. And yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a great day. And this is Jeremy Entertainment. Out.